In the past four years, Zipline has established presence in the country, expanding from one distribution center to six. In 2019, Zipline made an average of 375 deliveries per month. Figures from the company indicate that there has been a substantial increase in the number of deliveries per month over the past four years. But at what cost? That is the exact concern of the minority in parliament. The matter came up for debate during parliament's approval of the 2024 NHIS disbursement formula, which has allocated 80 million Ghana cities for supplying services. Mr. Speaker, there are provisions that stipulate that whether we fly a drone or not, Ghana must pay. And this is a take or pay clause. Just because the same company, Zipline, has an agreement with Nigeria, they have an agreement with Rwanda, they have an agreement with Tanzania, and this in this agreement, there's no take or pay clauses in those agreements. The speaker, this is inimical to the interest of Ghana. And with immediate effect, the speaker, if we are going to commit the state resources we must amend these provisions in the agreement with immediate effect. But the chairman of the health committee disagrees. As of now, it was one. You were using corporate social responsibility. It has scaled up to six or seven. And the government is saying that let's find appropriate means of financing it. So they put it on NHIS. What is wrong when a government has shown leadership? And as of now, they've supplied over four, five million worth of products. Products that you go for blood from a certain village to their town will take you several hours and you will die. They just drop it in within 25 minutes and they are using them.